Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. We miss seeing you. Uh, I'm not going to read a story today because I've read a few of them, and so today I've recruited some help. So I've got my son Christian. He is the book holder for Moses, and I've got my daughter Caroline. She is going to read the story. <laughs> One day, as Moses was watching his sheep, he saw a strange sight. Bright flames of fire burned from a nearby bush, but the bush did not burn up. When Moses took a closer look, he heard the voice of God. God wanted Moses to go to Egypt and tell King Pharaoh to let his God's people go. Pharaoh was mean. He made God's people work as slaves. God promised to help Moses, so Moses set off to see Pharaoh. Moses warned Pharaoh that if he didn't let God's people go, bad things would happen. But Pharaoh didn't li wouldn't listen. So God sent swarming bugs, thousands of hopping, croaking frogs, and pounding hailstorms. Finally, after lots and lots of bad things happen happening, Pharaoh agreed to let God's people go. Oh, my bad. <laughs> So Moses led God's people out of Egypt, but then mean old Pharaoh changed his mind. He sent his army to bring the people back. God, then God sent a big wind to split the sea in two so the people could walk across on dry land and get away from Pharaoh's soldiers. When Pharaoh's soldiers stepped onto the path, path the water came crashing down. After God's people escaped from Egypt, they camped in the desert. Then Moses went up on a mountain to talk to God. God gave Moses special rules for everyone to follow. We can all, we call those rules the Ten Commandments. When God, when Moses came down from the mountain with the Ten Commandments, he saw the people worshiping a golden calf. This made God very sad. God wants us to love and worship him. He wants to be the most important part of our lives. God wants us to follow the Ten Commandments too. Following the Ten Commandments shows that we love God. Can you find the children in this picture who are showing their love for God? What other ways can you show your love for God? The Ten Commandments can also help us remember to love others. God wants us to love our families, our friends, and even people we don't know. Can you find the children in this picture who are showing love to, for others? How can you show your love for others? The Ten Commandments. Oh. All right, boys and girls, and we're going to do the Ow. Ten Commandments. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. We're going to do the Ten Commandments because the book has the Ten Commandments in them, and we have a song that we do for the Ten Commandments. Let me open it up. So Moses brought down the Ten Commandments, and Cameron, will you help me sing that song? Huh? Caroline, do you remember this song? Okay, let's Come sing on, it. You hold this up for me, Caroline. Thank you. Okay, boys and girls, you got to pick your first finger up. Thou shalt have, have no other gods before me. Two, not make unto the image, graven image. Three, not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Four, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Five, honor thy father and mother to thy days. May be long upon the earth the Lord thy God giveth thee. Six, Thou shalt not kill, not, not commit adultery, not, not steal, not bear false witness against thy neighbor, not covet. So those are the Ten Commandments. So instead of a craft today, practice that song. You can play it over and over because it's a good idea to hide the Word of God in your heart. Have a wonderful day. Bye.